Feeling good about this? Yeah. Is that all in a book? Oh yeah. <laughs> Everything is gonna be in writing. You betcha. This is that rubber seal you're talking about. That is about it. Spraying it's also gonna be a test after we're done. <laughs> <laughs> you spray the rollers. Sure, that, that, does, that doesn't hurt anything. Okay. You betcha. I wanted to ask you, is this going to hang here all the time? Yes, yes. <gasps> Typical generator setup. You have to be careful going over the roads. Crazy, but that's the way it is. Yeah, they did uh, need to find a, a spot to have that exhaust poking out for the generator. They waste much time looking for <laughs> that's, that's sad. Yeah. And the installation. That's two drawbacks that I don't that can be easily taken care of. Yeah. If they talk about this being top of the line, that's not top of the no, line. It isn't. It's not. Yeah. I wish Hilton was here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Furnace exhaust? Okay. Okay. That's it's probably very exhaust. close to what you've had in the yeah. past. Um, water heater. Yeah. Important. Now your water heater, along with your refrigerator, is both AC and LP operated both electric and propane. Um, out here, there is only a couple of things to do. One would be drain it when it's time to do so. Obviously, there's no manual pilot lighting of any sort that you need to do. Hopefully, yeah. Well, right. you can't do it. Right, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, however, do you see that little toggle switch we've got right down here, right. on off? That's going to be the electric side of using the water heater. So you're going to have two switches on the inside of the coach. One for the gas side, one for the electric side. However, if you want to run it on the electric side, you have to make sure... This has to be on. Yes, it's just a safety feature. Ah. Um, so, okay. so most people, what happens is they turn it on, they walk away, they forget it's even out here. Yeah. Because they still have the two on the inside and they don't want to have to deal with having to come back out here yeah. and turn that on. Yeah. But just so you guys know, there it is. It's um, a code thing. Right. As far as draining goes, um, I'm sure you've probably yeah. had to do that in the past. Yeah. Drain plug right down there. You're just, oh, excuse me. You're just going to relieve the pressure right. under your drain plug, and then you're going to have what do we have? 12 gallons pouring under there. Okay. And that's when you do that bypass down there for antifreeze. Mm -hmm. Instead of filling this up with 12 gallons of antifreeze, mm -hmm. you don't have to. Which right. you don't want any antifreeze. Yeah. Right. Right. A little pin there. The pin actually goes into that switch. Oh, does it? So when it's in the off position, you can't turn it on with the pin. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, so that's pretty much it, except for your push to reset, which really is exactly what it says. When you're on the inside, and say you fired on your water heater and it didn't light on you, and you'll know because you don't have any hot water, then you you may have a red light that will poke that will turn on where the switch is on the inside to let you know it didn't light. Um, but like I said, if you don't have any water, hot water, then you know it didn't light. So then you can come out here, first step would be do your push to reset, push both of those in, it just resets your circuits and allows you to fire it up. And that's just a gas issue. Yes. It's yes. just a gas issue. You betcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions for the water heater? No, I think that's it. Okay. Unless you got something, Tom. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay, what else do we have? Your dump station. Right here. Okay. So, and of course you're familiar with the actual dumping. You've done that. Yeah. Right. But. <laughs> yeah, Tom yeah, knows I'm about that. Yeah, I'm an expert on that. Yeah. <laughs> got new shoes. <laughs> I have gloves, too. I was just going to yeah. say. Yeah. Gloves, yeah. yeah. So, where do you store? Where's the hose? Where do you store the hose? <laughs> The hose can be stored in here, okay? This clamp will come off and you can store it in there. Um, unlike a trailer, this one, not in the bumper. you do not have a bumper that you can use as a storage place. Um, this will, Okay. I lied to you already. This one is a bit different. You're just pulling the hose off, off of there. And that is your, oh, come on. Come on. Uh 
So that's going to be storage for your hose. Okay. Okay. What? While at the same time, well, you're actually going to put it in here. Yes. Yes. Um, that is the story. But this is your, where you the hook actual up. dump station. This is where you actually hook up the exactly. holes. Exactly. Wait a minute. So yeah. that's hooked up to that other hole, hole, but you're going to put your hose in this end just to store it. Right. Then you're going to take it out of there and then hook it up to that other hole to the hole in the ground. Right. That's right. Okay. Exactly. So okay. this is storage. Yes. That's okay. just all that is. Okay. Yes. You betcha. Um, and as far as dumping goes, like we said, get some gloves. <laughs> and boots. Make sure all of your connections are secure before you start Could you talk slower? <laughs> Sorry. Because I'm going to have to go over this one a few times. Yeah, okay. Funny. It's wow. just something we have to do when we go camping. Yeah. You know. Okay. But that's it. So we have to get a hose. Strange deal. No. Well, I mean, unless you want a longer one than a 10 foot, there, there there's one, one there? over on the other we side. Oh, I'm a, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, he says. Now, how'd you get that to stay on? It doesn't have to be. Yeah. I mean, it won't come off the land once you put that on. Oh, but don't you take it out? Or is that is it like that all what the time? What are you hooking there? That is just. Is that going to be like that you all can the time? Move. Yes. This I is like that. I see. That's like that. that too. I see. Okay. Oh, what's that drain valve back there? What do we got? These are first of all. These are your low points. These are your low point drains. Oh, okay. Okay. That's to get the water out of your water lines. Okay. So that when you're when you're when you're draining the whole coach. The antifreeze thing. Right. You're doing the fresh water tank. You're doing your water heater, and then you're also draining your low point drains. Which, like I said, it's just this the water gonna, lines. This is, can't you shut off so you don't fill up your holding, your fresh water tank, when you do the antifreeze? Why would you want to fill your antifreeze? Your... You're not. All you're doing with the antifreeze is you're putting it through the lines. When it's time, with, with that pickup anyway. Okay, and this is just to drain? To drain the water. Drain, okay. For the water line. Okay, and then there's another there's another one. The other one is going to be over pour for when you're filling up your fresh water tank. Okay. Okay? So as you're getting full, it's not actually gonna spit back out and get through that fill. Okay. It's gonna pour out of there. Good. And then the next one behind that. Oh. And on and off there. Right down here, that's the drain for the fresh water tank. Okay. Okay? That's where the fresh water tank is located. Okay. 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 I'm just gonna grab a towel. Oh. 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 What's the problem? It's gonna be a vent for your washer dryer hookup. Yeah, that's right. Just think on the other side. Oh yeah, it's right in the bedroom in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, service doors or service bays for your refrigerator. This is the exact same setup as you've had on every coach. I don't care what coach you, you want to show me, they all have this system. Basically all it is, and we can look at it as well, it's just a cooling unit to the fridge. It's the back uh, of the I want to show them. Yeah, There is less to do out here than there is with your water heater. And there's already uh -huh. not a whole lot to do with your water heater. Yeah. This there is going to be service just, and maintenance. This is a... However, what you should know is that your 110 plug on the electric side of the fridge, you'll find it back here. It's in here. Yes, it is. Okay. The, the, no. It is. Yeah. That's so, you know, when, when people, when some people store their coach, they want to turn everything off and unplug everything. And I understand that. And, you know, Sometimes they'll end up looking for the fridge and can't find it. Or if you want to replace the fridge yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Same thing up there. Yeah. Okay. Cooktop vent. Okay. Yeah. Isn't that something? That's standard. I guess so. It's locking around. Okay, back here we have your short power port. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Big old heavy duty 50 amp cord. Right. Twist lock system. Are you familiar with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's what we've done. We're going from a 50 to a 30. You're going to go home with that dog bone. Okay. And then you can go a step further, like we talked about with that little adapter. Right. Okay. okay. Good. Good. Roof access ladder. Now they also make a. They also make one like this. It goes to one ten. Fifty to one ten. The fifty to uh, fifteen amp. Like that, right? They may. I, I don't think I've Okay. Okay. That's okay. They, may, they probably yeah, do. I know they do. Yeah. yeah there you go. Yeah. I just yeah. haven't seen them. Okay. Um, as far as roof access goes, you know, there's no storage up there. Uh, unless you're checking out your seals or doing some cleaning, there's really not a whole lot of reasons to get on the Can roof. Can you walk all over? Sure. No issue with it? No. However, you need to be careful. Um, the way these roofs are just designed is they go. So just being slightly off center will almost make you feel like you're starting to, to do this number. And okay. It's a long way to fall. So yeah. Okay. Okay. The only thing sticking up out of there is some roof vents and the air conditioner. That's right. The two two units. Exactly. Those magic vents. Mm -hmm. Right. And that is the top height of the entire coach. Of the That's the maxi fan or whatever it is, or yeah, air conditioner. You have the, you do have the max uh, fans in there, but we're talking uh, the air conditioner. The air conditioner yeah, is the highest the, point. That's the top. I love the way those windows look. That's a new style. It looks great. Yeah. Open space. Sure. Here's your view. Uh, vacuum vacuum here. Is there something we attach here because when we use it in there, does it collect somewhere? It's just bags. That you hook right in right there, there and then put this on back. back. Okay. And Thank then you. you just have the accessories and the hookups that you would hook up on the Yeah, inside. okay. I was just wondering, you know, sure. how it, because it had this slanting hole here. And right, so exactly. That's just for air vent then. Gotcha. Okay. And I had one other question. Okay. Above the fireplace in there, uh -huh. is there a desk drawer that There we'll most definitely should be. We, we couldn't pull it out. Okay. I'd well, like you to try it. Yeah, you betcha. Okay. Um, do we We're want to pull go out through the inside? Oh, we are. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to pull out the awnings and see those? Yeah. Are we done with this? Unless, yeah. If there's nothing else going on up here, or anything that we need to be concerned about. Spare tire. Simply has a hookup poking out of it that you're going to crank down. The crank, which I forgot to mention, is uh -huh. in that storage bay. Okay. 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 Yeah. All you're doing is you're cranking that down. They gave us a tire. Yeah. Yeah, and that. Good for them. That's a 50-50. Yeah, it really is. Because they don't they don't necessarily want you to go and, and replace your own tire. So they definitely don't supply the tools to do it. And and most of the times they don't even throw in a spare tire because it's not a car. You know, it's not. It's a. Uh, yeah. We should have spent that on the generator. Insulation. <laughs> I want to get my mints. I want to sit down. Can you unlock the truck? I want to get my mints. I got some mints here. Thank you. Crank yourself in. You hear this, Tom? Manually crank. It's a it's a manual operation that just slide out. See that little bar poking out? Yeah, that's actually out. the whole crossbar. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's yeah. poking out about an, right. an inch and a half over here. Mm -hmm. That's that just takes a, a different crank than what we have in here. Now I didn't find one when I went through the coach, but we have extras. So I'll Are supply. In there. I did. Like I said, I couldn't find one in this coach, yeah. but we've got extras. Okay. So we'll bring one out. Okay. Let's so see. you'll have one. Good. Good. All right. If you ever wonder those bolts sticking out of there, that's just for adjustments on the slide out. As far as pitch goes. Okay. Is that locked? 